Best Guests were both nominated for Tony Awards for their roles in Broadway's Cinderella. And they are now reuniting in an all new fairy tale called One Royal Holiday, premiering this Saturday night right here on Hallmark Channel. Please welcome back Laura Osnes and making her first visit to home and family, Victoria Clark. Welcome, ladies. We're so excited to have you guys. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 This is so wonderful to see you and to hear you, and we have so many questions, so we're just going <laughs> to dive right in. So, Laura, I know you actually suggested Victoria for the role of the queen in One Royal Holiday because you say the two of you became almost like mother and daughter, and you became very, very close when you were performing Cinderella. Isn't that right? Yes, um, I call Vicky Mama Bear, and she came into my life at just the perfect moment. Um, I actually lost my mom to cancer um, uh, nine years ago, and we got to do Cinderella together two years later. And to have a fairy godmother on stage to literally look after me and kind of fill that void in my heart was so special. I've looked up to Vicky for so many years, and um, it was just so lovely to have her her presence and her love during that experience. Oh, Victoria, that's so sweet to hear, isn't it? No, I'm crying already. <laughs> <laughs> we just started. Um, I my son had just gone to college, so um, when we started rehearsing the show, so. I would confide in Laura and tell her how much I missed him and how worried I was about him. And, you know, of course, I had no need to worry, but I, you know, the typical mom thing. And so we had each other to sort of work through all of our mom and yeah. children things. That's really <laughs> so sweet. sweet. I mean, here's the other thing that people at home may not realize, too. When we shoot these Hallmark movies, they come together pretty quickly. And to have a relationship beforehand with some of our cast is so incredibly helpful because you just got to dive right in head first. I know you guys bonded over uh, that experience on Cinderella, but you also bonded over some um, onstage <laughs> mishaps in the past. Victoria, tell us about a couple of these unexpected showstoppers that happened. Well, the great thing about theater is it's, you know, of course, live and anything can happen and does happen. And we were responsible for two of the the big quick changes in the show. And so there were there were some shenanigans that happened, things that didn't go exactly right with the quick changes that were all right in front of the audience. Um, and I got to fly for the first time in my life. And I always wanted to play Peter Pan, but you know that, that came and went a long time ago. So <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever get a chance to fly again. And so when they told me I was gonna fly in this show, I was like so excited. And uh, one night uh, I went flying off into the wings and then I had to go up about another story. And um, my costume got stuck on a pipe and oh it ended gosh. up flipping me upside down. And I was hanging upside down and nobody noticed. Everyone was like singing and uh, not, not a big problem, but my dresser noticed and went to tell the stage manager. She's like, Vicky's up there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <He's a dresser." laughs> And um, so, you know, it was, it was okay. I the mean, show it was must go traumatic. on. Yeah, but that could be seriously yes, yes. dangerous. Totally. It was dangerous. I nearly died, but it was fine. <laughs> and then when I came out, you know, I came out late and then everyone's like, no one really knew what had happened and why I was late. And I think uh, a few people told me I looked rather rather shocked. Like it, was, it was kind of a look of terror on my face. <laughs> that is the true sign of a professional. Yes. The fact that you hear you That's are hanging right. upside down near to the experience and you continue to sing <laughs> yeah. as if nothing's happening. <laughs> wow, that is incredible. Laura, now I know in One Royal Holiday, you're once again falling in love with a handsome prince, aren't you? Tell Indeed. us about the movie. Yes, so uh, My Handsome Prince this time is played by Broadway star Aaron Tveit. Um, I play a nurse who is headed to her dad's inn for the holidays, but not before running into this very pretentious young man and his mother who are stranded in town because of a, an impending blizzard. And so I invite them to the inn. Why not? To come stay with us. Uh, what was supposed to be just one night, but weather disasters it make them stay a little bit longer than planned. We love when that happens in these movies. We love that, right. that's perfect. All right, we got a little clip. It's a fun scene when Anna and her father welcome the royal family into their inn. Have a look, everybody. What are we gonna do? We invite them in. No, Dad, they're royalty. I'll give them extra towels. How are you this calm? Aren't you nervous having them here? Of course not. It's like your mother always used to say, every guest is treated like royalty. <laughs> 
My apologies, Your Highness. Let's get you out of the cold. Thank you. Christopher has a couple of the bags, but we should probably call for a bellman. Oh, uh, oh. we don't have an official bellman. I'll take care of it. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't let you carry all this. Wait, no, I'll, I'll help. <laughs> wow, what's in here, an anvil? It's just the crown jewels. Seriously? No, it's shoes. <laughs> 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 I'll just uh, roll this along. <clears throat> yeah. Ah! So fun! <laughs> so great! I cannot wait to see that. I love watching you two watch yourselves too. It's really fun to see that. Victoria. I uh, haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it looks so good. <laughs> it's so good. And everybody's going to love this movie. Victoria, you do such a great job as a queen. I know you must have felt like a queen yourself back in 2005 when you won rave reviews and a Tony Award, I might add, for Best Leading Actress in a Musical for The Light in the Piazza. You Aww. also received a handwritten note from someone very famous who, who caught your performance. You got the Tony and you got this note. You know who I'm talking about. <sighs> Yes, uh, Miss Barbara Streisand did come see wow. us in the show, and we knew she was there because she was wearing all white, and she was sitting in the third row, and so we, she was easy to find. Yeah, um, but she was, you know, she didn't want to come backstage afterwards because it was would have been a huge, would have been the second show, right? So she uh, she sent us a note and let us know that she was there and that she had a great time, and it was. I saw you in the wonderful show too, experience. Vicky. You were just she was epic in that musical. Oh. I'm Thank sure you, when somebody like Barbara Laura's Stry epic in everything she does too. By the way, <laughs> I mean, same. That I mean, Tony Award though was well deserved. You're both amazing. <laughs> yeah. You both really are. Thank and, you, you know, Laura. We're not just saying that. And the two of you are epic together. I can say that. And if somebody as epic as Barbara Streisand is sending you a note, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was an amazing show. And speaking of Broadway, listen, so many businesses are struggling right now, as is Broadway. And in but you know what? It's going to come back, and it is going to come back with a vengeance. And I know that you ladies have a little bit of a message of hope for everyone out there. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, we wanted to sing a little bit of, of something that we sang together in uh, Cinderella. So this is a little uh, Rogers and Hammerstein. It's possible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage. It's possible for a plain country bumpkin and a prince to join in marriage. And four white mice are easily four white horses. Such falls are all in fiddle-dee-dee, of course, is quite possible. Quite possible. <laughs> it's beyond being possible. It's going to happen, ladies. Goosebumps I all know. over. Laura, we always make you sing when you come here. Now, Victoria, you're also going to have to sing every time you come here. <laughs> they can just, they can just <laughs> I love it. it. So Anytime. Fun. You just like, can sing like that on a whim. It's yeah. amazing. You know me. what? I think it's amazing. The next interview should just say, here's Laura, here's Victoria. Watch them sing for six That's minutes. That's right. We'll, we'll get be right out of back, your way. everybody. We should be, you guys take it away next time. Just go. Bye. We love you, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank, thank you for being guys. so fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yep. Love, love. Happy holidays. Mwah. You too. And you, you will be sure to catch Laura and Victoria in the world premiere of One Royal Holiday this Saturday night at 8, 7 central, right here on Hallmark Channel.